last one is Phyllis Diller. And ironically, the day that I met Phyllis Diller, she was wearing it. Oh. And little did I know that I would actually end up obtaining it. Yeah. And, oh, that's great. Look at that. Oh, it looks like it's made of silk. Yeah, I forget. It's a, it's a very well-known brand. It's uh, Guy La Roche from Paris. Wow. They call it a um, scarf dress. Because essentially it looks like two pieces of scarf that have been sewn together. Uh-huh. Now the next one is Margaret O'Brien, who is well known for Meet Me in St. Louis and Jane Eyre, and there, and, she, is uh, right there, there. she is with Judy in uh, Meet Me in St. Louis. This gown came from her adult collection, and she wore it. You know, she's Irish and Spanish, but she wore it to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York, where she was the Grand Marshal. Oh, how wonderful! Now, if we go up above, we have Mickey Rooney. Mickey. And that came from an estate auction not too long ago. I knew Mickey Rooney. In fact, just a few years ago, Mickey Rooney and Margaret O'Brien honored me by giving me the Golden Halo Award for my preservation of Hollywood history. Um, some of the stars who had received it include Jean Harlow, Judy Garland, Betty Davis, Elizabeth Taylor, and I believe John Wayne, um, James Stewart. And this Monday is their 80th anniversary, and I'll be there with Margaret O'Brien and other friends to celebrate. This one is actually the most special to me because when I was growing up, my mother loved design and fashion. This was my mother's high school graduation dress from about 1940. It's gorgeous. And it's all hand done, the little zipper up the side. My mom was tiny then. My mom was only about 5'2", but I wanted to include her because she had such an impact oh, on my collecting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, if you continue to your right, I spoke with Elizabeth Taylor at Macy's. She was looking right at me when that photograph was taken. And uh, I asked her some interesting questions about her, her thoughts and so forth. Uh -huh. But this is Elizabeth Taylor's cocktail dress from about 1959. Wow. And it's a left stunning on her with her blue her eyes. lavender. Purple eyes. Well, they would say violet eyes, but I think it was a lot of it was the eye makeup. I don't know. And then the last one is my longtime friend, Jane Russell. We even stayed at my house once. But she came to an exhibit that I did. And here she is unveiling the, the Mr. Blackwell original. Now what you'll notice is this portion isn't there because she wanted that back. And she wore it with other... Uh, pants and so forth. And she said, oh, honey, you can keep the, the Mr. Blackwell, but she's uh, she wanted to keep that to use it again. Okay? And here she is, of course, in the classic film, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes with Marilyn Monroe. And her pet name for Marilyn was the Blondel. So that's why she signed it from the Blondel and Jane Russell. That's great. And then this is sort of a set photo they, they were uh, in a candid pose from the same movie. It's a great photo. Okay. Shirley Temple, Black, Phyllis Diller, Margaret O'Brien, Elizabeth Taylor, Mickey Rooney, and Jane Russell, who were all very close friends of mine.